The next one that I'd like to introduce is called Chapters of Our Lives. And let me give you a, a quick sketch of what it consists of and then sort of usher us into just doing it and just doing it with one another. Um, if we look at human life through a kind of narrative lens, we recognize that we as human beings are not just simply homo sapiens, kind of knowing or um, in some ways uh, conscious beings. Our, the structure of our consciousness, the structure of our knowing is inherently narrative. Lots of other uh, forms of developed animal life, both aquatic and terrestrial, um, tend to ha share with us consciousness. Uh, they also share with us rudiments of language, as best we understand. But what distinguishes us from other forms of animal life is really that we are the only beings who tell stories. We tell stories about the events of our lives, to our friends, to our loved ones, when we return home from work, if we have loved ones to tell those stories to. Right? We watch endless numbers of stories on television. Some of us do the old-fashioned thing of reading them in books, electronic or paper. Um, we watch them on stage, in film. We are marinated in a kind of sea of stories in which we are constantly swimming. And of course, when the stories of our lives are too painful, too broken to share with just anyone, then we seek out caring counselors and coaches who we hope can hear what others cannot, who can listen to the deep text of our lives and help us find some clarity in that, some kind of themes that hold it together at a time that we sometimes feel we are falling apart. Who do you see as the primary author, writer of your self-narrative? Is it you or is it some other hand, right? Uh, who might be the ghost writer for your life, the hidden hand that has helped shape it most? Um, if you couldn't write your life story, who would you be happy to write the story for you? And who would you definitely not want to hand the pen and paper to? How would the story of your life look differently if it were written by your mother, <laughs> your first husband or wife, yourself as an adolescent? How would even the early chapters look different than the way you might write them now. Um, for whom is the story written? Who would you most trust to read that story appreciatively? And for whose eyes is it not destined, right? Who would want to edit it severely or rewrite it according to their own uh, view? If your story were a literary form, would it be a history, a mystery, a tragedy, a comedy, a heroic saga, a romance? What would the literary genre be? If the story were illustrated, what would it be illustrated with? Would it be photographs of whom, by whom? Would it include artwork? Of what kind? Right? Who would the artist be? Or would the work be your own? 